Okay, so this is E3720, week two, lecture two. So we're just going to do a bunch, couple of examples from chapter five. The first one we already looked at last lecture. So we'll finish this up. We'll look at another skill assessment exercise. And we'll also check both our answers in MATLAB. So recall from last lecture that for skill assessment 5.1, we basically said that let's combine. These are in cascade. So you're going to make a squared. This one uh, gives you, gives us s cubed plus 1 over s because you have s squared plus well, 1 over s. You put that under common denominator. You get s cubed plus 1 over s. And that's where we're going to start out. In the sense, what I have is plus minus plus s cubed plus 1 over s. We have a pickoff point over here. So and then there's if this signal is fed back. So let me zoom out so I don't mess this up. So that's that. And then let's, well, this is an integrator right here. Here is our output C of S. Then here's our reference input. Let's put the bars in there to denote S domain. Uh, and then there is feedback. And there's a differentiator in the feedback path. OK. So this is where we stopped last lecture. Actually, this is not where we stopped. I said that one way to do this, that this is equivalent to, oh, there are two positives. No, that's what I thought. This is, this is also negative. So let's fix that. Let's start up. So this is plus, and that's a minus. Anyway, what you can do is I can take this summer. And I can split this like this. So I have a plus there. And I have a minus there. So we put that as a yes. And last lecture, I actually, if I remember correctly, I drew this feedback path down and it doesn't matter right in the sense it's the same uh, idea so here's the pickoff point but the bottom line is um, so you pick it off right there I'll try to dot these pickoff points so it's clear the arrow coming in so here is s and then this fellow goes all the way in here so basically where we stopped exactly last lecture was we can this is a feedback uh, form so we can simplify this and this feedback form will be in cascade with this fellow which will be in feedback with the differentiator therefore the transfer function c of s over r of s is given by the feedback form from here which is, let me use different colors. So this fellow will become G over 1 plus G times H, but the feedback gain is 1, so that's that. And then you cascade that with 1 over S. I'm not going to use a special color for that because it's obvious, but then once we cascade that, uh, the net, let me use red, so this fellow then, it's perfect world, that's a square. Okay, so that's going to be equal. So it's going to be G, which is this, if you recall last lecture, over 1 plus G times H. So basically what I'm going to get is G over 1 plus G times H. So that's what we get. And then switching back to black and simplifying this, this becomes, so these S's cancel. 
and simplifying this fellow, if I multiply and divide by s, I get s cubed plus 1 over s cubed plus s plus 1 times a 1 over s over 1 plus s cubed plus s plus 1. Oops, what am I writing? So this thing is going to be s cubed plus 1 over and on the exam the problems I give you will be very similar to this it doesn't involve a lot of um, algebra very simple algebra s cubed plus s plus 1 and you can do this on your TI-89s I'm, I'm going to do this in MATLAB and check the answer so now if I multiply and divide by s times s cubed plus s plus 1 I get on the top s cubed plus 1 over s times s cubed plus s plus 1 plus s times s cubed plus 1. So basically, my transfer function becomes c of s over r of s. If you simplify this, I get an s cubed plus 1 on top over this. I have an s to the fourth here, s to the fourth here. So I get a 2s to the fourth plus I get an s cubed plus I get two s's, so that's what I get. So this is my transfer function. Hopefully I didn't make an arithmetic error, but let's check our answer in MATLAB. Before we do that, it's a good idea to check our answer again. So this is again s squared uh, plus one over s, which is what we had over there. Uh, that is up here. And this feedback form basically gave us s cubed plus 1 over s over s cubed plus 1 over s times 1 over s. This is divided by g times h, and it, this all looks good. So just uh, multiplying and dividing by s, I get this. Uh, let's see, looks good so far. Uh, 1 plus blah looks good. If I multiply and divide by s times s cubed plus s plus 1 uh, plus s times, yeah. So I can check the answer in the book, but I'm just tempted to, and let's just do this in MATLAB. So in a sense, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat uh, what we have, like, that is, we're going to re uh, basically reproduce uh, the block diagram simplification that we did. That is, S is transfer function of S. Let me define the transfer function object first. And then, what's this? Is, and there it is. So what I'm going to basically do, is if I scroll back up, let me try to. Oh, beautiful! So it looks like I can do this at the same time. Mm, so here, so this is feedback form multiplied by one over s, and then feedback form of this. So I'm going to define my h1 as this transfer function, h2 as this transfer function. And h3 has that transfer function. Let me um, minimize this in the sense. Let me try to do both of these at the same time. Yep, I can. So let me call h1 as s cubed plus 1 over s. h2 is 1 over s. h3 is s. So you do feedback of h1 comma 1 times s, right, and then you feed back this with s, so let's see what we get, so let's see, so I get s to the fourth, I don't get the answer over here, uh, let's see, h1, h2 is 1 over s, h3 is s, Oh, wait, I messed this up. Ah, what am I doing? H1, H2, I have there. H3, there you go. Okay, so uh, I just typed it in wrong. I didn't, even, I didn't even need to use H1, H2, H3. I could have just typed in the transfer functions, but this just makes it a lot nicer. So let's see what we got. Uh, S cubed plus 1, 2 S to the 4th plus S squared. Yeah, and I screwed this up because I can't multiply. So this is s squared plus 2s. S times s is s squared. So it's good to check it in MATLAB, I guess. But 
whatever, I didn't catch this because I was going through it so fast. Okay, so anyway, uh, so this is the answer we get from MATLAB. Okay, let's say on the exam you made this silly error, you would, if you would even lose any points, it'll be like 1% uh, on the prompt. So you'll get like 99% out of 100. Okay, so let's now check the answer in the book. And well, I gotta open up the book and I gotta scroll. Kind of. Sucks, but anyway. Oh, let's see, I think it was 255. Let me, let me just, no. Let me go 10 more pages, 265. Maybe that's too much. Oh, there it is. And you can see. zoom in, that's what we have. SQ plus 1, 2S to the 4th. Minimize it and check. There it is. SQ plus 1 over 2S to the 4th plus S squared plus 2S. Okay, so we're done with that problem. Now let's do the second problem and I'll try to be more mindful so I don't make that stupid multiplication error. Okay, for a unity feedback control system with a forward path transfer function blah, design the value of A to yield a closed loop step response that has 5% overshoot. So in this problem, we first, let me copy this over down here. So here it is. Uh, so in the solution, what we first have to do is we have to draw a picture corresponding to the statement. So here it is, the problem statement. There's a unity feedback. So the feedback gain is one, but the forward feed forward transfer function is right here. Design the value of A to yield a closed loop step response. So we have to compute the closed loop transfer function. So first of all, this is the picture corresponding to the problem statement. The feed forward feed forward path transfer function is given right there. Unity feedback. Uh, therefore, our closed loop transfer function, hopefully it is second order, is given by 16 over S times S plus A. Oh yeah, it is over 1 plus 16, how do I know if, I'll just, just do this in my head as I'm writing this. I multiply and, and simplify this out, this is what I get, and let me make sure I didn't make any multiplication errors, no, this time. Okay, therefore we want a 5% overshoot, so we want a value of A, uh, comparing, and you can see this is like beautifully comparing one to our standard form or a second order transfer function. That's what we get. Uh, so you have two zeta omega n is a and omega n is obviously four radians per second. Now from our percent overshoot, we can find our uh, zeta and using the, so this gives us zeta and using zeta in this equation, since we know omega n, we can find a uh, now e to the minus zeta pi over square root of one minus zeta squared equals 0 0.05. So if you solve this on your TI-89s, which I will do because I, I mean, I can do it in MATLAB, but let me just get my TI-89 out. It's my emulator. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, solve uh, e to the minus x times pi divide by um, square root of one minus x squared. My x is obviously my zeta. Uh, whoops, don't need that. Equals 0 0.05. Solve that for x. Approximate that for me. And hopefully, uh-oh. Looks like I, let me break this. 
okay escape is cancelled due to the yup um, so as you can see my syntax is incorrect so let me clear this let's try this again so and this lecture is going to be pretty short but that's okay zeta pi here insert an extra parentheses divide by second square root of 1 minus x squared one more so this should do it equals 0 0.05 solve that for x oh there you go so zeta is 0 0.69 let's go back here so zeta is approximately, and did mine crash? I guess it did. So it's 0 0.69, let's go back in here. It does do three decimal places, 0 0.690, okay. Therefore, our A is two times 0 0.690 times which is which implies e is approximately so let's just uh, multiply 0 0.69 by 2 by 4 uh, 5.52 doesn't seem like there are any units so let's just check our answer in MATLAB and then check the book uh, well, let's get into MATLAB and obviously I'm just going to step my Tra transfer function define a transfer function and step it so I'm going to do my omega n as 4 uh, let's see e as um, 5.52 and my transfer function is omega n squared over s squared plus a s plus omega n squared okay so this is 5.52 so my transfer function h is omega n squared divided by s squared plus a times s plus omega n squared. Okay, step h. So let's see what happens. Stepping up. I mean, stepping. Again, it's slow because I'm recording the background. There it is. Okay, and then let's ask for the percent overshoot. Uh, characteristics, peak response. There it is. Percent overshoot is 5%. So that looks good. Let's check our book answer, and then we're done. Let's go in. 5.52. So, yeah. All right, so we're done with uh, pretty much half of chapter five. Next lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to start with what is called signal flow graphs, like it is right here, and basically Mason's rule. And uh, that should finish up uh, chapter five. All right, I'll see you next lecture.